Hey guys, Jason Jeffries here, Master Jace for the Alliance Project. Um, this one was brought to my attention by a fan. Um, I was familiar with the work that they were talking about, so I told them I'd make a short little video, maybe to bring awareness to it and give you guys a couple of resources and um, read a couple of articles to you guys. So I wanted to share this stuff um, and get right into it. it. Has to do with Nikola Tesla. the Bosnian pyramids and standing waves, which was how the pyramids and Tesla himself could conduct electricity over long distances wirelessly. Ancient pyramid discovery key to Nikola Tesla's communication with aliens, says expert. The discoverer of the world's most ancient pyramids claims to found a theoretical form of energy coming from the alleged ancient structures. They call him a pseudoscientist, but he's a real scientist. Samir Osmanagic claims to a series of triangular shapes, hills in it, sh triangular shaped hills in his native Bosnia are artificial pyramids that are bigger and older than those in Egypt. Despite mainstream archaeologists, archaeologists saying that they are just natural rock formations, Mr. Osmanagic, we'll call him Mr. Oz has made another bold claim that he's found Nikola Tesla's so-called Taurus and fields of standing energy at the Bosnian pyramid site, which means we could now communicate with aliens. Mr. Tesla was a Serbian American inventor, physicist, and futurist who contributed to the design of the AC electricity supply system in 1888 alternating current. His ideas became more left field and experimental towards the end of the 1800s. He devised theories of standing waves of energy coming from the earth that meant electricity could be transmitted wirelessly over long distances. Mr. Oz has claimed alleged discoveries at one of the 34,000 year old pyramids he called the Pyramid of the Sun changes the history of the planet. It could lead to intergalactic communication. He wrote, this is probably from his 2005 book, the discovery of Tesla's standing waves at the top of the Bosnian period of the sun which are believed to travel faster than the speed of light while not losing strength as they pass through cosmic bodies, prove the existence of something referred to as a cosmic web or cosmic internet, which allows the immediate intergalactic communication throughout the universe. Recorded energetic phenomena above the pyramid of the sun at Vesoko seek a different definition of pyramid compared to the conventional dogmatic explanation. So pyramids are energy boosters that send and receive information through the sun. Tesla devised this a theory of standing waves saying they travel faster than light, meaning they could move through other cosmic bodies without wasting energy. Mr. Oz claims on the surface of and underneath the Bosnian pyramid of the sun, archaeological digs have found quartz crystals, a crystal present in the underground tunnels as well. A mineral he receives, he says, receives and amplifies energy. Yet the discoveries of the alleged energy sources founded on the earlier unproven pseudo archaeologists archaeology and conspiracy theories. He claims there are seven levels of tunnels inside the pyramid that amplifies the intensity and intensify the, um, its energy. First of all, it's not pseudoscience or conspiracy theory. Crystals are how me and you are communicating right now. It's how you're watching this. It's every microchip. It is nothing but crystals aligned in a certain pattern which amplifies, receives, and stores data. Okay, so the fact that you have a cell phone, the fact that you're looking at a computer screen, the fact that we're using the internet right now is all based on crystal-based technology. It is not a conspiracy theory. It is not a pseudoscience. It is the reality of the world, okay? Just to put a touch on that. For more mainstream archaeology, Mr. Oz has come for great criticism by mainstream archaeologists who doubt the whole pyramid theory. He says, my research an argument that the pyramids were built worldwide and that the oldest pyramids are also more superior ones has led to the situations where Egyptologists have created a wall of hostility towards me because 90% of them are Muslims and their book says the world's only 6,000 years old. So them even saying the Sphinx exists uh, goes against their religion and is just taboo and forbidden for them to even talk about. Our evidence, which points to the oldest and concrete of the highest quality on earth can be found at the Pyramid of the Sun, and the existence of the largest networks of prehistoric tunnels have resulted in written petitions being sent to the European Archaeologists Associations against our research. Remarkably, Oz 
also supports the ancient aliens theory that advanced beings came to Earth thousands of years ago to help build the pyramids. He added, life originated thanks to an intervention to on our planet. Species on Earth changed in the long term through experiments where evolution plays a minor role. And Homo sapiens is the result of genetic engineering. And of course, we're not the first nor the most advanced civilization in the history of the planet. Boston's University archaeological professor Curtis Runnels has been one of the many to attempt to put the Bosnian pyramid claims to bed. He said, earlier prehistoric country cultures, including villages, farmers, and dialect appeared back to 9,000 years and before the Stone Age, hunters and gatherers did not have populations large enough or social structures organized in ways that we permitted the creation of pyramids on this large of a scale. Bullshit. Pyramidal shapes on, offer least resistance to such forces and are common in forms of nature. Dr. Oz is the person who discovered the Bosnian periods in Visoko and established the Archaeological Park Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun Foundation, which is currently pursuing excavation and geoarchaeological work on the site. Oz has been, become an expert at the subject, investigating periods in China, Marutis, Canary Islands, Egypt, Peru, El Salvador, Guatemala, Bolivia, Honduras, Mexico, and other countries. Beginning in, with some information about Oz's educational background, he holds a PhD in Sociology of History, a Master of Sciences in International Economics, a BS in political science, a BS in economics, and two years of training in sociology. All the post-secondary evolution was complemented at the University of Sarivo in Bosnia. He attended elementary and high school in Sarivo, Sarajevo, graduating from Druga Gymnasia, or second gymnasium high school as a top student in his class. His PhD thesis was conducted at, on the Mayan civilization, and today he teaches anthropology with a specialization on Bosnian megalithic sites at the American University of Bosnia. Alongside his hobby of investigating pyramids and ancient civilizations, Oz has had a career in business beginning with the mid-1980s in the United Metal Industry of Sarajevo, where he was working on research with fellow UNIS planning. In 1989, he began his own export-import construction business. He spends time in Houston, Texas, working as a researcher, resident author, and a business person. He began working in the United States as a general manager and manufacturing company of Houston Protectors. After that, he began another business of his own where he now works today. The company is called Met Company, where he works as the president. Oz has written and published 10 books in the United States, Croatia, Bosnia, Herzegovina, Estonia, Turkey, about ancient civilizations such as the modern world, Pacific, Mexican, and ancient European, Peruvian, and African cultures. He has traveled extensively to different parts of the world doing research. If you would like to see a list of his books, we can click here. So we will. Here's his published books. Oh, go ahead. And it would be S E M I R O S M A N A G I C dot com slash en slash books dot html and it tells you his books and where you could read them um he also made a documentary based on his 2005 book which you can watch which i believe is called let me type it in y'all civilizations before the official history Oz has received special awards as just, such as the first honorary citizen of the town of Visoko, Man of the Year in Bosnia, for the Pyramid Project. He has been admitted to one of the most respected scientific institutions in the world, the Russian Academy for Natural Sciences from Moscow, and as a, as a former member, and he's also a member of the Archaeological Society of Alexandria. Regarding the Bosnian Pyramids, his first international scientific conference took place in Sarajevo, Bosnia, in August 2008. 55 leading experts from different, 10 different countries showed up to give full support of his efforts. Since then, he's known as an advocate for archaeological tourism in Bosnia and holds lectures to promote Bosnian Valley of Pyramids projects in many other countries. He also created a documentary based on his 2000 books, 2005 books, Civilizations Before the Official History for the State of Bosnian Television. It contains 12 episodes and is called Search for Lost Civilization. Search for Lost Civilization. So the book it's based off of is Civilizations Before the Official History, like I told you up here. 
and then the documentary is 12 episode series called the search for lost civilization <clears throat> let's see oh. but um let's go ahead We're going to use uh, Wikipedia, which isn't the best place to use it, but the world wireless system was on the turn of the 20th century proposed as telecommunications electrical power system devised by Nikola Tesla based on his theories of using earth and its atmosphere as electrical conductors. So what he did was build a tower, grounded the tower about 100 to 200 feet down, and then you, just as lightning strikes every second around the world, he harnessed that standing wave energy and used the earth as a conductor it, and like the sun is like the capacitor it, it made a circuit from the sun because the sun's always broadcasting energy and the earth was the ground um jp morgan was the only guy that financed it and since there was no way to charge people for the energy without using wires he scrapped any study once he found out what he was doing and um put an end to it because ever since then study of energy has been done through wires so there could be a meter there could be a way to charge people um he claimed that the system would allow for transmission of electric energy without wires on a global scale as well as point to point wireless communications and broadcasting he made public statements citing two related methods to accomplish this in the mid 1890s by the end of 1900 he was convinced jp banger to find finance construction of a wireless station eventually cited as warden cliff tower based on his ideas intended to transmit messages across the atlantic to england into the ships at sea almost as soon as the contract was signed tesla decided to scale up the facility to include his ideas of terrestrial wireless power transmission to better complete the compete with googly mo marconi's radio based telegraph system morgan refused to fund the, the changes and when no additional investment capital became available, the project of Warden Cliff was abandoned in 1906, never to become operational. During this period, Tesla filled, filed numerous patents associated with the basic fu functions of the system, including transformer design, transmission methods, tuning circuits, methods of signaling. He also described a plan to have some 30 Warden Cliff style telecommunication stations positioned around the world to be tied into existing telephone and telegraph systems. He would continue to elaborate to the press in his writings for the next few decades on the system's capability and how it's superior to radio-based systems. Despite claiming claims of having carried on practical experiments with wireless transmission, there's no documentation he ever transmitted power beyond relatively short distances. The idea is he did. He lit up a light bulb by just sitting there, blam. Okay, you could sit there and plug a light bulb into the ground. <laughs> you could stand on the ground, hold the light bulb, blam. It was lighting the light bulb without wires. Um, Tesla's ideas for the world wireless system grew out of the experiments beginning in the 1890s, learning of the Hertz experiments with the electromagnetic waves using induction coil transformers and spark gaps. He duplicated those experiments and then went on to improve Hertz wireless transmitter, developing various alternator apparatus of his own high tension transformer known as the Tesla coil. His primary interest in wireless phenomenon was went as a power distribution system, early on pursuing wireless lighting. From 19, 1891, Tesla was delivering lectures, including experiments with alternating currents and high potential and high frequency. In 1892, in London and Paris, he went on to demonstrate wireless lighting, including lighting Geissler tubes wirelessly. The first experiment was operation of light and motive devices connected by a single wire to a one terminal in a high frequency induction coil performed in 1891 New York City. While a single terminal incandescent lamp connected to one of an induction coil of secondary terminals does not form a closed circuit, an ordinary acceptance of the term, the circuit is closed in the sense that the return path is established back to the secondary by capacitive coupling or displacement current. This is due to the lamp's filament or refractory button capacitance relative to the coil's free terminal and environment. The free terminal is also capacitance relative to the lamp and the environment. 
The second result demonstrated how energy could be made to go through space without connecting wires. The wireless energy transmission effects involves the creation of an electric field between two metal plates, each being connected to one terminal of an induction coil's secondary winding. A gas discharge tube was used as a means of detecting the presence of the transmitted energy. Some demonstrations involved lighting of two par partially evacuated tubes in an alternating electrostatic field while held in the hand of one of the experimenters. So he proved that this is true. Um, there's a lot of the references and stuff. Uh, that's why you learn about Thomas Edison and not Tesla. Um, I'm going to see if I can find that documentary and then I'll just share it. Uh, the 12 episodes on my, um, one of my video playlists since it won't be my own. If I can't find it that way, I'll just go ahead and record the 12 episodes and put them up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little fun fact. Um, more proof to go ahead along with all our people call them theories, but, uh, reality, I'd say, um, critical thinking, right? And I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Um, I have a couple more things I'm going to do today, get some videos out there and yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think and be safe. Please support the channel, share, like, donate, do whatever you got to do, but support the channel. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'd be happy to discuss and I answer every comment, even the negative ones. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed.